to Sound Bites Academy. Let's talk about gardening. Hey, have you seen my gardening gloves? I can't seem to find them. I think I saw them in the shed yesterday. Hey, have you seen my gardening gloves? I can't seem to find them. I think I saw them in the shed yesterday. Hey, have you seen my gardening gloves? I can't seem to find them. I think I saw them in the shed yesterday. Hey, have you seen my gardening gloves? I can't seem to find them. I think I saw them in the shed yesterday. What's your favorite plant to grow in your garden? I love growing tomatoes. They taste so much better than store-bought ones. What's your favorite plant to grow in your garden? I love growing tomatoes. They taste so much better than store-bought ones. What's your favorite plant to grow in your garden? I love growing tomatoes. They taste so much better than store-bought ones. What's your favorite plant to grow in your garden? I love growing tomatoes. They taste so much better than store-bought ones. I'm thinking of starting a vegetable garden this year. Do you have any tips? Sure, start with easy-to-grow crops like lettuce and carrots. I'm thinking of starting a vegetable garden this year. Do you have any tips? Sure. Start with easy to grow crops like lettuce and carrots. I'm thinking of starting a vegetable garden this year. Do you have any tips? Sure. Start with easy to grow crops like lettuce and carrots. I'm thinking of starting a vegetable garden this year. Do you have any tips? Sure. Start with easy to grow crops like lettuce and carrots. Have you tried composting your kitchen scraps for your garden? It's a great way to reduce waste and improve soil health. Have you tried composting your kitchen scraps for your garden? It's a great way to reduce waste and improve soil health. Have you tried composting your kitchen scraps for your garden? It's a great way to reduce waste and improve soil health. Have you tried composting your kitchen scraps for your garden? It's a great way to reduce waste and improve soil health. I need to prune my rose bushes, but I'm not sure where to start. You can start by cutting away any dead or diseased branches. I need to prune my rose bushes, but I'm not sure where to start. You can start by cutting away any dead or diseased branches. I need to prune my rose bushes, but I'm not sure where to start. You can start by cutting away any dead or diseased branches. I need to prune my rose bushes, but I'm not sure where to start. You can start by cutting away any dead or diseased branches. How often do you water your plants in the summer? I water them once a day, usually in the morning or evening when it's cooler. How often do you water your plants in the summer? I water them once a day, usually in the morning or evening when it's cooler. How often do you water your plants in the summer? I water them once a day, usually in the morning or evening when it's cooler. How often do you water your plants in the summer? I water them once a day, usually in the morning or evening when it's cooler.
I'm thinking of planting some herbs in my kitchen window. Which ones are easy to grow indoors? Basil, parsley, and mint are great options for indoor gardening. I'm thinking of planting some herbs in my kitchen window. Which ones are easy to grow indoors? Basil, parsley, and mint are great options for indoor gardening. I'm thinking of planting some herbs in my kitchen window. Which ones are easy to grow indoors? Basil, parsley, and mint are great options for indoor gardening. I'm thinking of planting some herbs in my kitchen window. Which ones are easy to grow indoors? Basil, parsley, and mint are great options for indoor gardening. Can you believe how quickly the flowers bloomed this year? It must be the perfect weather conditions. Can you believe how quickly the flowers bloomed this year? It must be the perfect weather conditions. Can you believe how quickly the flowers bloomed this year? It must be the perfect weather conditions. Can you believe how quickly the flowers bloomed this year? It must be the perfect weather conditions. Have you ever tried using natural pest control methods in your garden? Yes. I use companion planting and beneficial insects to keep pests at bay. Have you ever tried using natural pest control methods in your garden? Yes. I use companion planting and beneficial insects to keep pests at bay. Have you ever tried using natural pest control methods in your garden? Yes. I use companion planting and beneficial insects to keep pests at bay. Have you ever tried using natural pest control methods in your garden? Yes. I use companion planting and beneficial insects to keep pests at bay. What's your favorite garden tool? I love using my pruning shears. They make cutting and shaping plants so much easier. What's your favorite garden tool? I love using my pruning shears. They make cutting and shaping plants so much easier. What's your favorite garden tool? I love using my pruning shears. They make cutting and shaping plants so much easier. What's your favorite garden tool? I love using my pruning shears. They make cutting and shaping plants so much easier. Let's go to the garden center and buy some new plants for our garden. That sounds like a great idea. I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go to the garden center and buy some new plants for our garden. That sounds like a great idea. I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go to the garden center and buy some new plants for our garden. That sounds like a great idea. I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go to the garden center and buy some new plants for our garden. That sounds like a great idea. I'm excited to see what they have. I'm trying to attract more butterflies to my garden. Which plants do they like? Butterflies love nectar-rich flowers like butterfly bush and milkweed. I'm trying to attract more butterflies to my garden. Which plants do they like? Butterflies love nectar-rich flowers like butterfly bush and milkweed. I'm trying to attract more butterflies to my garden. Which plants do they like? Butterflies love nectar-rich flowers like butterfly bush and milkweed. I'm trying to attract more butterflies to my garden. Which plants do they like? Butterflies love nectar-rich flowers like butterfly bush and milkweed.
I'm so happy that our garden is finally producing ripe strawberries. Me too. Let's pick them and make some fresh strawberry jam. I'm so happy that our garden is finally producing ripe strawberries. Me too. Let's pick them and make some fresh strawberry jam. I'm so happy that our garden is finally producing ripe strawberries. Me too. Let's pick them and make some fresh strawberry jam. I'm so happy that our garden is finally producing ripe strawberries. Me too. Let's pick them and make some fresh strawberry jam. What's your opinion on using synthetic fertilizers in your garden? I prefer using organic fertilizers to keep my soil healthy and chemical free. What's your opinion on using synthetic fertilizers in your garden? I prefer using organic fertilizers to keep my soil healthy and chemical free. What's your opinion on using synthetic fertilizers in your garden? I prefer using organic fertilizers to keep my soil healthy and chemical free. What's your opinion on using synthetic fertilizers in your garden? I prefer using organic fertilizers to keep my soil healthy and chemical free. Do you have any advice on how to keep my plants alive while I'm on vacation? You can use a self-watering system or ask a friend to water them for you. Do you have any advice on how to keep my plants alive while I'm on vacation? You can use a self-watering system or ask a friend to water them for you. Do you have any advice on how to keep my plants alive while I'm on vacation? You can use a self-watering system or ask a friend to water them for you. Do you have any advice on how to keep my plants alive while I'm on vacation? You can use a self-watering system or ask a friend to water them for you. Let's plant some sunflowers in our garden this year. They always bring such a bright and cheerful vibe. Let's plant some sunflowers in our garden this year. They always bring such a bright and cheerful vibe. Let's plant some sunflowers in our garden this year. They always bring such a bright and cheerful vibe. Let's plant some sunflowers in our garden this year. They always bring such a bright and cheerful vibe. How do you deal with garden pests like aphids and snails? I use a mixture of neem oil and water to spray them off. How do you deal with garden pests like aphids and snails? I use a mixture of neem oil and water to spray them off. How do you deal with garden pests like aphids and snails? I use a mixture of neem oil and water to spray them off. How do you deal with garden pests like aphids and snails? I use a mixture of neem oil and water to spray them off. I'm planning on creating a raised garden bed this year. Do you have any design ideas? You can use cinder blocks or wooden planks to create a simple and affordable raised bed. I'm planning on creating a raised garden bed this year. Do you have any design ideas? You can use cinder blocks or wooden planks to create a simple and affordable raised bed. I'm planning on creating a raised garden bed this year. Do you have any design ideas? You can use cinder blocks or wooden planks to create a simple and affordable raised bed. I'm planning on creating a raised garden bed this year. Do you have any design ideas? You can use cinder blocks or wooden planks to create a simple and affordable raised bed. Have you ever grown a fruit tree in your backyard? Yes, I have a lemon tree that produces delicious fruit every year. 
Have you ever grown a fruit tree in your backyard? Yes, I have a lemon tree that produces delicious fruit every year. Have you ever grown a fruit tree in your backyard? Yes, I have a lemon tree that produces delicious fruit every year. Have you ever grown a fruit tree in your backyard? Yes, I have a lemon tree that produces delicious fruit every year. Let's have a garden party and show off our beautiful flowers and plants. That sounds like a great idea. We can serve fresh garden vegetables and herbs. Let's have a garden party and show off our beautiful flowers and plants. That sounds like a great idea. We can serve fresh garden vegetables and herbs. Let's have a garden party and show off our beautiful flowers and plants. That sounds like a great idea. We can serve fresh garden vegetables and herbs. Let's have a garden party and show off our beautiful flowers and plants. That sounds like a great idea. We can serve fresh garden vegetables and herbs. What's your favorite type of flower to grow in your garden? I love growing sunflowers and zinnias. They add such a vibrant splash of color to my garden. What's your favorite type of flower to grow in your garden? I love growing sunflowers and zinnias. They add such a vibrant splash of color to my garden. What's your favorite type of flower to grow in your garden? I love growing sunflowers and zinnias. They add such a vibrant splash of color to my garden. What's your favorite type of flower to grow in your garden? I love growing sunflowers and zinnias. They add such a vibrant splash of color to my garden. My garden is looking a bit dull lately. Any suggestions on how to add some color? You can add some flowering annuals like petunias or marigolds. My garden is looking a bit dull lately. Any suggestions on how to add some color? You can add some flowering annuals like petunias or marigolds. My garden is looking a bit dull lately. Any suggestions on how to add some color? You can add some flowering annuals like petunias or marigolds. My garden is looking a bit dull lately. Any suggestions on how to add some color? You can add some flowering annuals like petunias or marigolds. I'm trying to create a wildlife-friendly garden. What are some plants that can attract birds and bees? Native plants like coneflowers and bee balm are great for attracting pollinators. I'm trying to create a wildlife-friendly garden. What are some plants that can attract birds and bees? Native plants like coneflowers and bee balm are great for attracting pollinators. I'm trying to create a wildlife-friendly garden. What are some plants that can attract birds and bees? Native plants like coneflowers and bee balm are great for attracting pollinators. I'm trying to create a wildlife-friendly garden. What are some plants that can attract birds and bees? Native plants like coneflowers and bee balm are great for attracting pollinators. I just planted some seeds, but they're not sprouting yet. Is there anything I can do to speed up the germination process? You can soak them in water overnight or use a seed starting mix to provide better drainage. I just planted some seeds, but they're not sprouting yet. Is there anything I can do to speed up the germination process? You can soak them in water overnight or use a seed starting mix to provide better drainage. I just planted some seeds, but they're not sprouting yet. Is there anything I can do to speed up the germination process? 
You can soak them in water overnight or use a seed starting mix to provide better drainage. I just planted some seeds, but they're not sprouting yet. Is there anything I can do to speed up the germination process? You can soak them in water overnight or use a seed starting mix to provide better drainage. I'm planning on building a small greenhouse for my garden. Any tips on how to get started? You can start with a simple DIY kit or hire a professional to install a custom greenhouse. I'm planning on building a small greenhouse for my garden. Any tips on how to get started? You can start with a simple DIY kit or hire a professional to install a custom greenhouse. I'm planning on building a small greenhouse for my garden. Any tips on how to get started? You can start with a simple DIY kit or hire a professional to install a custom greenhouse. I'm planning on building a small greenhouse for my garden. Any tips on how to get started? You can start with a simple DIY kit or hire a professional to install a custom greenhouse. I'm so excited for the upcoming garden show. Have you been before? Yes, it's always a great opportunity to learn new gardening techniques and discover new plants. I'm so excited for the upcoming garden show. Have you been before? Yes, it's always a great opportunity to learn new gardening techniques and discover new plants. I'm so excited for the upcoming garden show. Have you been before? Yes, it's always a great opportunity to learn new gardening techniques and discover new plants. I'm so excited for the upcoming garden show. Have you been before? Yes, it's always a great opportunity to learn new gardening techniques and discover new plants. I'm trying to attract more hummingbirds to my garden. Which plants do they like? Hummingbirds love nectar-rich flowers like salvia and fuchsia. I'm trying to attract more hummingbirds to my garden. Which plants do they like? Hummingbirds love nectar-rich flowers like salvia and fuchsia. I'm trying to attract more hummingbirds to my garden. Which plants do they like? Hummingbirds love nectar-rich flowers like salvia and fuchsia. I'm trying to attract more hummingbirds to my garden. Which plants do they like? Hummingbirds love nectar-rich flowers like salvia and fuchsia. I just learned about the benefits of crop rotation in gardening. Have you tried it before? Yes. It's a great way to prevent soil-borne diseases and improve soil fertility. I just learned about the benefits of crop rotation in gardening. Have you tried it before? Yes, it's a great way to prevent soil-borne diseases and improve soil fertility. I just learned about the benefits of crop rotation in gardening. Have you tried it before? Yes. It's a great way to prevent soil-borne diseases and improve soil fertility. I just learned about the benefits of crop rotation in gardening. Have you tried it before? Yes, it's a great way to prevent soil-borne diseases and improve soil fertility. Let's start a community garden project in our neighborhood. It's a great way to promote healthy eating and community bonding. Let's start a community garden project in our neighborhood. It's a great way to promote healthy eating and community bonding. Let's start a community garden project in our neighborhood. It's a great way to promote healthy eating and community bonding. Let's start a community garden project in our neighborhood. It's a great way to promote healthy eating and community bonding. 
How do you deal with garden weeds without using harmful chemicals? I use a combination of hand weeding and mulching to suppress weed growth. How do you deal with garden weeds without using harmful chemicals? I use a combination of hand weeding and mulching to suppress weed growth. How do you deal with garden weeds without using harmful chemicals? I use a combination of hand weeding and mulching to suppress weed growth. How do you deal with garden weeds without using harmful chemicals? I use a combination of hand weeding and mulching to suppress weed growth. I'm thinking of adding a water feature to my garden, like a small pond or fountain. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. It can add a soothing ambiance to your garden. I'm thinking of adding a water feature to my garden, like a small pond or fountain. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. It can add a soothing ambiance to your garden. I'm thinking of adding a water feature to my garden, like a small pond or fountain. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. It can add a soothing ambiance to your garden. I'm thinking of adding a water feature to my garden like a small pond or fountain. What do you think? That sounds like a great idea. It can add a soothing ambiance to your garden. Can you help me prune my fruit trees? I want to encourage more fruit production this year. Sure, we can use pruning shears to remove any dead or damaged branches. Can you help me prune my fruit trees? I want to encourage more fruit production this year. Sure, we can use pruning shears to remove any dead or damaged branches. Can you help me prune my fruit trees? I want to encourage more fruit production this year. Sure, we can use pruning shears to remove any dead or damaged branches. Can you help me prune my fruit trees? I want to encourage more fruit production this year. Sure, we can use pruning shears to remove any dead or damaged branches. I'm planning on starting a butterfly garden. Do you have any recommendations for host plants? Caterpillars feed on plants like milkweed and parsley, so they're great for attracting butterflies. I'm planning on starting a butterfly garden. Do you have any recommendations for host plants? Caterpillars feed on plants like milkweed and parsley, so they're great for attracting butterflies. I'm planning on starting a butterfly garden. Do you have any recommendations for host plants? Caterpillars feed on plants like milkweed and parsley, so they're great for attracting butterflies. I'm planning on starting a butterfly garden. Do you have any recommendations for host plants? Caterpillars feed on plants like milkweed and parsley, so they're great for attracting butterflies. I just bought some organic seeds for my garden. Have you noticed any differences between organic and non-organic seeds? Organic seeds are often more expensive but can produce healthier and more resilient plants. I just bought some organic seeds for my garden. Have you noticed any differences between organic and non-organic seeds? Organic seeds are often more expensive but can produce healthier and more resilient plants. I just bought some organic seeds for my garden. Have you noticed any differences between organic and non-organic seeds? Organic seeds are often more expensive but can produce healthier and more resilient plants. I just bought some organic seeds for my garden. Have you noticed any differences between organic and non-organic seeds? Organic seeds are often more expensive but can produce healthier and more resilient plants.
How do you keep your garden organized and tidy? I use garden markers to label my plants and use a garden tool organizer to keep my tools in place. How do you keep your garden organized and tidy? I use garden markers to label my plants and use a garden tool organizer to keep my tools in place. How do you keep your garden organized and tidy? I use garden markers to label my plants and use a garden tool organizer to keep my tools in place. How do you keep your garden organized and tidy? I use garden markers to label my plants and use a garden tool organizer to keep my tools in place. I just harvested some fresh herbs from my garden. Do you have any recipes that use herbs as a main ingredient? You can make a simple basil pesto or add fresh herbs to your favorite salad dressing. I just harvested some fresh herbs from my garden. Do you have any recipes that use herbs as a main ingredient? You can make a simple basil pesto or add fresh herbs to your favorite salad dressing. I just harvested some fresh herbs from my garden. Do you have any recipes that use herbs as a main ingredient? You can make a simple basil pesto or add fresh herbs to your favorite salad dressing. I just harvested some fresh herbs from my garden. Do you have any recipes that use herbs as a main ingredient? You can make a simple basil pesto or add fresh herbs to your favorite salad dressing. Let's start a vegetable garden challenge. We can see who can grow the biggest zucchini or the most tomatoes. That sounds like a fun idea. It can be a great way to motivate us to improve our gardening skills. Let's start a vegetable garden challenge. We can see who can grow the biggest zucchini or the most tomatoes. That sounds like a fun idea. It can be a great way to motivate us to improve our gardening skills. Let's start a vegetable garden challenge. We can see who can grow the biggest zucchini or the most tomatoes. That sounds like a fun idea. It can be a great way to motivate us to improve our gardening skills. Let's start a vegetable garden challenge. We can see who can grow the biggest zucchini or the most tomatoes. That sounds like a fun idea. It can be a great way to motivate us to improve our gardening skills. I just learned about the benefits of cover crops in gardening. Have you tried planting cover crops before? Yes, cover crops like clover or winter rye can help improve soil health and prevent erosion. I just learned about the benefits of cover crops in gardening. Have you tried planting cover crops before? Yes, cover crops like clover or winter rye can help improve soil health and prevent erosion. I just learned about the benefits of cover crops in gardening. Have you tried planting cover crops before? Yes, cover crops like clover or winter rye can help improve soil health and prevent erosion. I just learned about the benefits of cover crops in gardening. Have you tried planting cover crops before? Yes, cover crops like clover or winter rye can help improve soil health and prevent erosion. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment below if you found any content challenging and share your thoughts with other learners. Subscribe, like, and share this video to support us and stay up to date on new courses. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.